chance with him in that. But yeah, if he's not in that role currently, that could be an interesting factor going forward. But we already see the things get underway. So it's going to be SMB on the defending side and G2 on the attack. And already, oh, it's beginning. Both still here, but Meadow's going to find Silo X on the way out. 8 HP now in a frenzy. Difficult to find anything at this distance. Might find a uh, GQ1 ahead of that. Brave actually will find two here. It comes to 1v1. No way, Brave! Yeah. What? Brave. Huge. Well. Huge. I could have safe passage, at least to the back corner. You can see oh, it's still sticking around and well, a little bit awkward on the timing there. Kind of caught utility in hand. Follow up as well. SMB not really finding anywhere to make an impact so far. Again, the players of the Spectre and, and that rifle are going to be leaning over now. One towards heaven, one CT. Bike down, low five standing for G2. And every time there's contact here, it's it, it's fully invested, right? Everyone's... SMB if they really don't address this soon. But Glove, or Glove, excuse me, should be trying to buy time here. And he's done really well. Actually, Back's turn, going to open up for a freebie. Nookie going to be punished for the fourth. That Glove. is sublime from Glove. Unreal wow. presence. Well. And the <laughs> and I guess that... Fear. They, they want to stop this sort of... Pressure in garage. Nookie actually will find Cider on the swing, but Brave quick to trade. These two will know they have a little bit of space towards heaven here to backfill. Oh, and Avova trying to readdress that control, the push on the UI. So he needs to be bailed out here. And Cider might realize this. He turns around in time to at least find Hoodie. And now Zistow's got the cross, or at least he will have the cross as soon as they try to attempt it. Meadow and Avova going to try and remove some of that vision, force their hand, TP through towards Sight and get that spike down, hopefully uncontested for his sake, because that HP, oh, no, it's not... To argue with a rover down on 5 HP, it's very much doable for them here. Last player oh. Oh. Still good on the cross. Going to catch that and at least bring it down to one this player. This will be hard now. to isolate. Yeah. Just in his mind, maybe he's cleared backside well enough, but he's going to double check. Really diligent work there. And has he noted Meadow? I think he has. Tries to dip away, get it to half. He knows there's enough time for at least to get it to this point. But he has to now body check it. He's got to swing it and he does. Done. Beautiful. That is how you systematically take down a 1v3. Coming out, really buying a bit of time here. But you can see the spice going to be taken towards flight. The sticks have come out. This is madness. And it's going to be a massacre. Oh, Brave this time wants his name up in lights, and he's going to find three of them. G2 left in tatters. Hoodie going to do what he can, but it's not. And here on A site. Over. Brave. <laughs> Within the first 10 to 15 seconds, it's a done deal. There's there's no real opportunity. Quick come out before, but it's the, it could be easy this time leaning forward and actually does best test this. But the street players on the other side, the wall will cut off one, two more there. Side directs the first challenge and they succeed. Hoodie gonna find him. And Brave gonna try and slip away slightly. The pressure side of Mount and actually Hoodie's found another. Integral in. Oh, the possibility now. We'll find another over there for the trade. And it's not talking about the first few rounds. I was considering it, but now Brave misses that opportunity and has to just stay alive with his rifle. Flash confirms his presence there. And just going to ensure Izzy to stick. I've seen it. Yeah, he's definitely seen enough now. Nuki trying to just dance around it, but looking a little vulnerable. Hoodie's gone down, but what? the trade-out's perfect. Look Nuki, second. look at this guy. Where did he get... I don't know where he got the second from, if I'm honest. But again, you can barely see that player, Izzy. Connects the knife towards a Vova, leaving just Nookie and Meadow alive, making just Meadow on the swing out, and it's not pretty at this point. That's a stunner, though. The follow-up, the control, he's trying to spray it. Meadow, no shot. He's got one more, oh, and it looks so possible. Big indicator here, but 18 seconds left. G2 slowing down here. And actually, a quick punish onto Nookie. That's a problem. Flash to CT, they know he's there. 10 seconds now. Spike needs to go down uncontested. Zisto. Ooh, that's going to sing a little on the other side, potentially. Yeah, Hoodie going to just about get away. Not too much punishment on the back of that, and an interesting use of the divide here. Is there kind of over still. He knows there's a time limit on this, though. They still have the retake wall. So I'm interested to see here if this actually works out for SMB. Oh, Hoodie's not liking what you're saying. Avova does finally get caught out, though, but it's Kellogg's there on the trade. Back down to a 2v2, and there's Zisto, Zisto waiting on the what? site. He'd been there the whole time watching this all unfold almost pa i love the fact that brave and globe have to have had to respect that but they still look involved they still look present when necessary and speaking of present and necessary see a little angle to work with it potentially either punishing kellogg's and this looks par for the course smb looking unbothered thus far and of over there you go pixel now spot on either side and dance it out for the wall drop. San Izzy will get the punish, leaving it all into Meadow's hands. 1v4. He's got the time on his side, but 
No teammates still stand. The flash towards the back of the side. Trying to force a turn. He's going to see one pass. Claims a second. Instantaneous trade. Like, kind of push towards the extremities. No need for it thus far. Brave. Going to decide to fall away. Probably the right choice here. And Nuki trying to lead the pack. But he's already been dealt with. Izzy, you can't get away from him. He seems to be on every single site. Every time they try and make a push. And look at these angles. So difficult to work with. Glow pushing in towards main. In towards this lobby area. Ovova can't quite clear him yet. He probably will now. Yeah. Shot to the side of the head. But already the damage is really making it difficult. Tyrex is coming around now as well, but player advantage now with the rest coming in. Is he going to deal with it? But the trade comes in. But he's still there and still able to operate even with just the sheriff at hand. Tyrex has found a nice bit of timing. Oh, if that adjustment came in, it was such a thin margin, but it could have happened. Now a 1v2 of over. Still lingering around. The angle's so good for him to get first yeah. contact. Very well played by a good drop at M249 next. Nice. Nice. <laughs> And then it puts it down to a Vova, who's been, he's been pretty stoic in nature. He's normally been quite good at kind of collecting those unfavorable situations. This time, though, not to be the case. Spike will be safely planted. Two players still trying to work their way through middle, and you can see Cider. Oh, that's a big amount of information, but he oversteps yeah. it almost. Maybe didn't expect to have so much success, but Nookie will find him. Now a 4v3. Comes going to elbow clear. A little bit of space. Kellogg's actually will find more on the way in. Glow has to find his now. Foodie will fall. Actually, the crossfire working here. Brave again. That's huge in a pistol round here. It comes to 1v1. And Nuki's read it. He is on the case, but keep your mind on the time. Yeah. And the shot is divine from the man. Nuki, always, always a danger. Always a danger to be up against, but... Working the way in, there's the cages, there's the wall. So a little bit of a trade out here, but the cross can be seen, can be noted. Meadow gonna catch at least one and actually gets a punish on Brave too. Izzy with a trade out as Meadow does go down at the back of the site and a follow up as well from Izzy. The man's just unchained at the moment. Pushing aggressively. I love seeing these specters utilized like this. Now a Vova, one of his own. You can see the positioning from Glow. Let's a Vova check on this diligently. I mean, the man's. Always seemingly a couple of steps ahead, and he does. Lovely work from Avova. Now has to address the site itself, though. Got the paranoia, but 70 HP. SMB definitely have the advantage in this scenario. Cover going out. Where are you, you going to send it, Avova? Well, that's money. quite a good spot, isn't it's it? Money. He's on the money, absolutely. And now just about coming out of it, though. Zisto is still fine. Vision now recovered. He's just trying to stay alive. He's trying to buy time. He's in danger. He's been man. backed into a corner. And again, G2 closing out a couple of these rounds that are down to the wire, but they... Uh, SMB... The back of this doesn't really matter. you got to be saying, get ready. No way. Get ready on the other... Uh, as if he still gets it. Meadow knows he's in danger, but look at this sweaty little setup. Oh, it's That's ratty disgusting. from Meadow. That's not fair. Oh, he almost got the fob as well on the Spectre. That is absolute rat business there. Yeah. And Hoodie's shots are on the money today. Fine, Glove, this is terrible. Oh, and, no. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> and look at this. Instantly ready. Instantly prepared. Reds comes in. Lacky looking up and over. Oh, he still gets brave as well. Hoodie by his side. And Izzy's 26 HP. Oh, dearie me. What'd you do with this? Team flashes the lot. It's not looking good. As G2 are just spamming away the firing squad on the other side. And a Vova doesn't want to leave this too long. He wants to come with, dealt with, and to move on. Already side erect, but he's trying to challenge this. Doesn't get that much information, I don't believe, off the back. And there it is. Nookie finds a headshot. Don't look at it. Look at what it is. Oh, <gasps> oh and Nookie's uh, got the ult ready. They're, they're finding no... Okay. Okay. Oh. Nookie hit that, though, didn't he? The ball team. Truly. Now Izzy, we can make it around in time. And Izzy just trying to stagger his way back to do so. Wow. This, this feels like a very quick game. <laughs> it, it does. It's fast paced. Uh, G2, like I said, yeah. they're, they're happy to just go toe to toe with SMB. And again, it's, it's the sort of set. This setup on A from Meadow, uh, again, it, it's just intense. Who will punish Izzy? The operator removed and. And there's no so, trade. Yeah, nothing comes so There's no trades here. G2, G2 are playing a gorgeous defensive half here. Brave trying to make his run for it, but... <laughs> well, let's see how much you got, Brave. I have to live up to your name here. Ten seconds. And an army against you. The time they spent to get here is actually not a great deal. So early. 
Uh. Definitely draw their attention back away from their early plan going forward. So G2 right amongst them, and you can see it. Head. Spike gonna go down, but Meadow, unchecked on, does at least get away with one Last trade instantaneous. Ending. Good work to keep him in check, and now Vova, not gonna have the time <laughs> of day to be getting on. You may want to try and invest a lot of early utility, try and clear that. But couldn't quite like, get there in time. Gotta be careful now as Meadow. The timing, oh, he slipped the net. And, and, and you can see exactly how that's happened, and Hoodie might put together these pieces going, he was not even considering an option of that. He was fully having faith that someone had my back, and that not being clean now for Globe is a problem. This unleashed them. This is all fallen apart by that one bit of timing. They got under their skin completely and utterly, and as much as they can try, it's all on Globe to try and do something with this now. And a 1v3, not got the angle, not really got the utility, not got much of a hope. G2 going to get a cross is going to peak Yeah, this. Hoodie's a little deep, going to flash in Kellogg's, but he's punished for it. Just a little bit of a slowdown on the way up from the ramp. You can see that tucking on the corner could still do some damage, and it does. Looking with one card, double down on a brave, brilliant work towards the site. Going to take control, and now the spike can be planted safely. It's Avova and Meadow Column. They come out with the Nano Squad, actually going to force Avova out of position. Stow with the second swing as well. Meadow's going to be in a whole lot of danger here. Does manage to nip away in time, but Izzy's on the hunt. And now Izzy's seen a whole lot of players. That's going to be a call and a half coming out from him. Hunting on the side, but no one really... Uh oh Dealing with them. And it's just Cider now on a 1v2. They walked into the stack, maybe a little too confident, a little too aggressive, and now he's in danger. He's got players, right players, and he gets one. Oh, he gets the second as well. Just not keeping it in check because that one over towards the middle, that would be lovely. That would be high on the checklist if they could get it done, but it's not to be. So far, not much denial on the spike going down here. There it is. That's pretty finding the impact. The timing was great. I really thought they'd be so paranoid about that presence, but there's a response in kind. Globe slips in through CT, and now they're stuck in the middle of over and Hoodie. Uncomfortable positioning, but well read by Hoodie again. Noting that player earlier and finding them again. The Globe, unrelenting in approach, but it's Hoodie. Boys, look as if he wants to get a little antsy here. Blade Storm pop that thing. We'll find Izzy drifting into the smoke. Able to get away as well. I'm very surprised he was able to get away as he's looking on a chopping block. This guy is unreal. He's doing this with 5 HP and he's being such a problem. He's trying to buy so much time for this. He allows a little bit of time for the regress, but it is going to still be a 2v1. It's possible for Brave. Let's say if they give him that chance, that opportunity to strike the line up. Not this time. Bugs actually. So close there, close. A Vova's on that corner, but it, it, it could have. That'd be a bigger problem. Uh, positioning, his timing. Problem player for sure. Timing. And Kellogg's caught yeah. sleeping there a little bit. Is this still going to take the space that was granted to him? In here. Not sure about that. Not necessarily, uh, uh... Not much. Yeah, not needed. <laughs> Make sure they can take the lead here. I guess it's also... Look again, they're both walking down long. This is really high on the checklist. And this time, a massive reward. Like noted, another player found a Vova. You don't get to mess with him twice. Gets vengeance after that first round. Now Nookie gets to unleash this time, focusing more just purely to drawing blood. Does find Snyder and Izzy insists now this could be a full pass, but Izzy sharp in the chop. Kellogg's on the rover, just remain posted. Actually, a swing and a miss from Kellogg's here. Yeah. Oh, uh, no more. It's whiffy, it's whiffy, yeah. whiffy. Okay. Any more it's and right. that's... Uh... Interesting time to pull this through. And Hunter Shiro going to come in, a Bova forced to fight. He, he was forced forward and still got Izzy. I'm unaware this could be his moment to shine. Two players on a platter. It's everything you dream of. That's the impact you need. And now suddenly SMB take the reins in this round. of over trying to fill that void now. Play back in through on CT oh, and Globe. So Globe absolutely makes that work. As the thing actually reacting. Unnoted by G2 on the other side. Already going to pull through two players. And Nookie. Large and in charge as ever. Put out another though. SMB know that they're up a couple more players than they'd expect. And Kellogg's finding Brave and no trade available, no pressure coming back in. They've somewhat stemmed the bleed here. Okay. Until well. that, this now can just move and shoot. The man's playing a different game right now, and Kellogg's is now under so much pressure. He's got three players just leaning into a tight overcompensate on one of over has his no back. Way. And he even has two kills. The man is always going to be the safe pair of hands for this guy, but he does get outdone eventually. How much could he have done on his own? Not enough, Meadow. <laughs> a mirrored aspect a little bit of a different element as to where they push but smb will make that push nonetheless as well just threading around this map trying to trail the timing so nicely in g2 untraditional fight but winning them offense is the best defense on the pistol around here as Kellogg's will close things out he can really dissuade this too much 
down to does get the spike down, does get out of danger. Now, it's to me this time will be quicker on the trigger. You've already seen Brave find Nookie, so that's going to be a big bit of impact found. Four players very swiftly towards this site. Kellogg's is in a whole lot of danger. Again, this is a bonus. You can see the person coming in from G2 is very light in that regard, but no danger really found yet. It's going to be working through this. Novova, your last one alive. Going to make a go of it. <laughs> Not going to get much more than that, though. So, it's on Novova. <laughs> and he's still going to be the safety net that they need. And the Volp as well. Both players in spawn noted here. You know they have the freedom. To potentially oh take God. this engagement with Brave, actually. Please challenge him here. I don't necessarily want to overstep the mark. Okay, Brave will fall. Oh, now it's a double flank now. Yeah, yeah. No, this is where all eyes can then turn to the side. And yeah, Cider does get one. Third, gets a second. Lovely, but he's left on 10 HP. So the, the feasibility of this round is near on zero. <laughs> So I don't think he's the most. But maybe now. Uh, that shouldn't have been what it was. But yeah, you're right. A little bit of feasibility to the round. And away we go. Could at least allow them to drop down. Try and close the gap. But Meadow stands his ground. Going to get two even while the vision was looking worse for wear. Probably does come in and Evova. This guy is just so good at hitting some of these lurks. Buying himself time. Patience. Actually, only gets him one at this point. Out of those two remaining players, as now Hoodie has to deal with the look of the HP. This now took a beating in that scenario. Tommy doing what he can. And there it is. We have to stop this now. This is one of those snowball rounds for G2. They can throw a couple of these ultimates in. Might can go really badly downhill. They're respecting him to an extent, oh, but... Massively. Send the rolling thunder Again, in. A massive <laughs> investment just to keep him under wraps. Too dangerous to peek without it. And there's the over-aggress from Kellogg's, and it catches this style perfectly. He didn't have a chance. I think the way you phrased it being this is kind of one of those... Uh, met. So that's a spike plant. That's at least timing now on your side. And the problem is that we know that it's two players, maybe, actually no, excuse me, three players who are well-equipped. Zistal and Sider aren't coming into this with a great deal in comparison. So you have to see how they can maybe facilitate for the others, because this is going to be a full-on 5v5 retake. Is he actually gets on pretty close to a meadow guarding that dash. Oh, and Hoodie's there by his side as well. Brave's gone down, leaving two of the players who are a little worse equipped, and Meadow's just farming away on the site. And I like... Less thing they have to worry about in the next. <sighs> well... You... Oh, I don't think no one's going to be particularly caught off guard. However, that does catch him off guard. Meadow going down, and now the two players tucking towards hell have to fight out a little bit. Kel's going to try and at least get some space. The boat plays in, finds one, but it's going to be SMP doing so well this time. They're all down to Nookie, but this man can come up with some magic sometimes. A tap on the spike will draw him forward, he finds one. He fucks himself safely just away from the peak from long. He actually wants to go back on it, but Sider quick on that peak himself. He mean, is there for the team, right? But let's see if that does have any knock-on effect, but you got a bank. What it working oh, oh, oh. out, and Izzy, his presence. you got to start feeling it, no oh, way! Miss. He hits some of those unreal exactly. shots back to back, and that's the one that goes astray. 30 seconds left. Remember Draken? Feels a little similar. Brave though, having to run player's life because now Nook is going to be just making his debut into this meadow with a good break. Now look at the answer back, it's coming in but only for so long. The site's theirs and it all falls to Globe who's positioned around the corner. One towards hell, one on site. Oh, it's just enough but the shoulder show. Now, look on that knock-on effect. We, we were talking about it, right? That, yeah. that over-eagerness to please, to be willing to go so far beyond potentially to try and help out the squad, which hey, I get it. And then he's left now on a bulldog armor. Well, it could have been a judge. And, it could be uh, worse. You could be Cider. Well, actually, it's, it's light armor spec. <laughs> so, and a rifle. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. The one of the players who is at least well propped up and positioned would be Glove, who's going to be sitting there with the rifle, with the armor, but he gets noted. Just body check down. Two now remain. Brave walks in. Urge now. Aside of being presented, nothing 